Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video, it's a beautiful modern cake. If you guys want to see how I recreated these beautiful techniques, keep on watching.
did my normal normal, stacked my cake together. So I used buttercream. You can use anything that you want, really, Swiss meringue, ganache. So I did buttercream and then I did my crumb coat, pop it in the freezer, then did my second coat. I chose to go white because I wanted that pop. And actually, this cake was really uh, an inspiration from a frame in my house. So I'll show it to you right away. So I have this frame that I'm just in love with, okay? And I'm like, why not recreate this to make a cake? So basically this is the product of this cake was because of this frame. So basically what I did, super easy, I just crumb coat my cake and then did a second coat of white buttercream. And then I pop it in the freezer, making sure that my cake was um, a chill and hard so I can go ahead and then smooth everything out um, using my metal scrape um, spatula. By the way, the reason why I use metal, because some of you asked me why, is that I dip my metal spatula into really, really hot water and I obviously remove the water and then I go over my buttercream and it just smooths everything out. So this is a great, great pointer. So if you want that nice surface, the, the nice clean surface, that's the way to go about. The heat of the water um, goes to your spatula and then what it does is that it melts just a little bit, just enough your buttercream or your butter so that everything smooths out. So I do that for the sides and then the top. And so for the design, the intricate design, the modern look, what I did is that I did some black, yellow, and some white uh, buttercream that I already had from the cake itself. So to recreate black buttercream, the easiest way to go about is not take a bottle of gel food coloring and just put it in your, your buttercream, no. The easiest way to go about is to cut the shade from white to black, the most you can possible. So by doing that, what you do, or what I do, is that I add cocoa powder to my buttercream. So by mixing it, it's going to make brown, okay? And by the way, it tastes way much better than a bunch of gel food coloring, okay? So you just mix it up and you have brown um, buttercream. So it cuts all those shades that you you would have to make because I'm telling you, um, when you add some a black food coloring to white, it never goes from white to black. It goes from white to gray and then to darker gray. I mean, the process is so long and you just keep adding and adding and adding. It's just, no. So the trick is add some cocoa uh, powder and then chocolate cocoa powder and then you just add, it becomes brown and then you can go ahead and then add your uh, food coloring, your gel food coloring or your powder uh, food coloring. Um, and by the way, the color will darken as um, uh, if, if you leave the buttercream, you know, for a few hours, you will see it's going to darken. So the color will be more um, in depth, uh, it will darker anyway. So basically, I just created some, um, uh, I created texture with my uh, small spatula and then I did the same thing. And then I put it in the freezer because I wanted to be uh, chill, that black part, because I didn't want really the colors to blend in. So I did black first, pop it in the freezer for about five minutes, and then I went um, and then I added my other colors, so white and gray, and then I just went over and over until I liked the effect. And then I took my scraper and then I just went over um, the whole entire thing, like especially on the side. And then I removed just enough to my likings. And then I finished the top with that beautiful uh, cake topper, which is very mod modern look. And that was it. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.